Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. If your data flow task in SSIS package fails in control flow, which task will you use to send email on error? So this is a very important uh, question and they want to know if you know how to do the error handling or how, how you will uh, get the error information from SSIS package and then send to the uh, IT team or um, DBS team so they can take a look what exactly is happening and fix the error and uh, make the package work. Uh, let's go to SSDT and uh, or bids whatever you have according to the version of uh, C, uh, SQL Server integration services installed on your system and bring the data flow task. So on this one, I have the data flow task on the control flow pan. Now, if this fails, what I want to do, I want to send an email. So I will be using a send mail task. Now here, I'm going to connect this one data flow task to the send mail task. But see the arrow between them is called presence constraint that is green. So I want to set as a failure. So now it was successful when it says success, it means a uh, it will be green and it the data flow task has to has be successful and then it will send that I would I don't want to send uh, on success at all I want to only send uh, when this task fail so that's why I'm going to select the failure and the completion is uh, when uh, the data flow task or any task that you're using between them uh, the first one um, that completes it doesn't matter it's successful or it is failure so in our case uh, that is also not applicable we want to only send on failure so let's put use the failure and say this one. Now what you see here, the arrow color is changed from green to um, red. So if you are running your this package and uh, this package is completing successfully, this will never go to here. This will never go to send mail task. But if uh, data flow task uh, fails, then the this will come to the send mail task. This is one way to do it. Now what is the other way uh, we can do it? We can go to the event handlers and in the event handler we can select the executable on which we want to send that error so we can select data flow task here and next part on error we selected if error happen and next we can use the same send mail task here to send the email so there are multiple ways we can um, handle this one but in both cases we will be using a send mail task to send the error information if somebody comes back and say i don't want to use the send mail task so what you will do now so what we can do now we can use execute sql task that can be used as well and we have to use a db uh, send mail uh, th that's on SQL Server uh, store procedure that we can use in the execute SQL task and do this. So we have to connect it here and then uh, again we have to go to failure and click here. So we can use that one. We can use execute SQL task to send an email or we can use uh, um, send mail task to send the email. Um, that's pretty much it. I have actually a uh, post on uh, sqla.blogspot.com how to send the errors uh, from um, package on failure and you can take a look and uh, see uh, what exactly um, you know we do that and uh, which uh, system variables like uh, uh, error description or error code and how to build that expression with the neat uh, format of uh, email you know by using those uh, expressions um, th th that will show you pretty detail how to do that and uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video